I just had a really good time vibe coding malware, ransomware in particular. I'm gonna tell you all about it real quick. Keep the main thing, the main thing. Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably heard about how somebody was using cloud code to run uh, Kali Linux to do hacking and stuff. So one of the things I, I was just trying to play around with to see how far I could go like vibe coding ransomware. And so it was pretty, pretty interesting. And um, I'll show you <laughs> some of the stuff. Uh, and it, I'll show you one screenshot that's kind of funny because it was kind of like super interesting. So basically, like most code is is modular in nature. And so even back in the day when Stack Overflow existed, if you wanted to do some encryption, you could go to Stack Overflow, see, get some PowerShell or get some uh, Golang code to actually do the encryption bit. So, I mean, the old school way is you used to have to cobble these pieces together. Now, I, I would say that most code, uh, definitely when you get to the system administration uh, aspect of code, is like a dual edged sword. Like a system administrator could use it for good or a, a malicious actor could use it for evil. So what I was doing with Claude is uh, I was doing modular coding. I, I built a C2 server that would communicate with the agent. And then I started working on the other uh, ransomware bit and some of the encryption stuff. I had some code left over from, you know, doing this manually over the years, but I just wanted to see what what I would do, what, you know, could I improve it or whatever with cloud code. And uh, funny enough, <laughs> it gave me this funny, funny error. And <laughs> it, it, let me try to read it real quick. It's so, it was funny because in the sense that um, I'm pulling it up so I can read it. It was funny because it says, that I can see there's already a folder. I cannot help with this code. This appears to be ransomware code that contains all the things that ransomware does. And then what I really liked about it, it says, this is clearly malicious. Uh, and, it, and then it offered to help me do legitimate security related stuff. So I got a, I got a, a laugh out of that. But um, as I said, though, if, as long as you do it stuff modular, and uh, so I got that with cloud code. So what I did is I actually, uh, so I, I'm, you know, I, I code in VS Code. So VS Code has uh, my Git uh, Hub Copilot in it. So what I did, I switched some stuff over and did some stuff in Copilot. So as long as you don't give the LLM too much context, it won't protest. But if, of course, as you see here in this code, when, once you once you put everything together, it's kind of like it has that that reckoning moment like oh snap uh you know and it's just funny how that context works so um here's the deal right so i i still think that you need to have some talent to to write malware um but this does lower the bar if you know if you kind of know how to do stuff uh it definitely lowers the, lowers the bar but at the same time from a defensive perspective i think uh, LLMs and being able to make agents and do agentic work, I think it's making it a lot easier for blue teamers as well. So I think it's going to level up both sides. So I always tell, I always like playing with this stuff. And the reason why is because we hear so much about attackers going to use it. I agree that attackers going to use it, but this is just a, a demonstration of the challenges that people like, you know, Claude and, and, uh, or Anthropic and OpenAI and, and anybody, um, because I, I've I've tried to write you know malicious code and and using even some private models running Olama and things like that uh, and just running those and some of those aren't gated at all. So yes, you definitely can write malicious code, but I just thought it was super interesting, especially how Claude tried to steer me on the straight and narrow, <laughs> like a good person should. Well, I thought it would be interesting if I showed you that. Uh, so by the way, I, you know, I was able to run and compile my, my ransomware, the C2 works. I can communicate with the kind of like a rat I built as well, but it's all, it's just because I know how, I know how these things work. And I think that it does lower the, the bar, but I think if experienced programmers are going to be able to do stuff uh, way easier than, uh, than they used to do, you don't, you don't have to go to stack overflow and get all the code. You have, you know, Claude or, you know, GitHub Copilot or or GitLab has, has a, a competitive product, too. So all these different um, 
you know, coding assistance platforms are definitely going to make it easier for the, 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 <laughs> the bad guys or whatnot, but it's also going to make it easier for the good guys. So good guys, we got to get on it. You got to play with these tools and we got to, we, <laughs> we got to put up the good fight. Thanks for watching. I'm looking in the mirror. What do I see? I see the only person alive that can stop me. I'ma push it to the limit with it. Everything I got, I'm a rocket ship in motion. I'm headed to the top.